What's going on guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. It's Shred Stone, the founder of Pro Sports Extra. If you enjoy this video at all, do me a favor, click the like button down below and subscribe. It takes you like five seconds. And the way this works is if you click that, this video is gonna get shown to way more people. And uh, yeah, so please do me that quick favor. I truly appreciate it. Let's jump into this really quick. This story is a little bit different than most that we do here at Pro Sports Extra. Um, although we cover like such a wide variety of topics from the pro sports, sports in general, and the extra news as in, as in like as in, as in like fashion, um, you know, entertainment. And when I mean fashion, I mean like like what's going on in 2020, like the new styles and like um, just the different topics and like we cover so much different stuff from YouTube content to TikTok content to sports, to calling out a racism section, so many different sections here on Pro Sports Extra have been doing well. So this one's a little bit different. This video is about Ryan Whitaker, who uh, sadly lost his life at the age of 40. Uh, Ryan was a loving father, a super nice guy, and someone who should not have been killed at the age of 40. A neighbor reported to the police that they should get the, his house as soon as possible because they could hear loud sounds. While the officers approached the building, they said something about the caller didn't said something about like how the caller didn't give really much details, and they kind of seemed annoyed about that, and they made it seem kind of strange. When the officers knocked, Whitaker opened the door with his gun at his side. Once he noticed it was the police, and the police started yelling, he started dropping, dropping like this, and the officer on the back shot him. Yep shot him and killed him um the girlfriend comes out screaming and the police officer ends up saying it's okay which was just pretty nuts and on july 16th phoenix police released an incident report related to it that the officers involved were identified as 33 year old jeff cook who was the shooter i believe and 53 year old john ferragamo um and they still have not been fired from their jobs and especially the shooter. Um, the reason I heard about this story was because there was someone who shared it on Facebook, Spike Cohen, who is a libertarian vice president candidate, uh, says this man is uh, Ryan Whitaker. Ryan was shot and killed by the police in Phoenix, Arizona on May 21st of this year. A neighbor called the police about a noise complaint, annoyed of, annoyed and answering the questions the dispatcher just to get it dealt with as fast as possible in the 911 call the neighbor stated it could be physical i could say yeah it could be if that makes anybody hurry up and get here faster the neighbor isn't much of the problem though what could have been much of a simpler police call ended in a needless and horrific tragedy ryan and his girlfriend were making a salsa and playing crash bandicoot according to ryan's girlfriend and confirmed by the body cam footage of the responding officers the cops knocked on Ryan's door, announcing themselves with a quick shout, most likely that Ryan or anybody in, in the house couldn't hear. They probably just heard some, someone just basically yell something. The officers stood on each side of the door, concealing themselves with a view. As it was late, Ryan opened the door with a firearm held towards the ground, presuming fear for his safety, as someone knocking that late wasn't usual. He ends up, the officer notices the gun and yells hands and Ryan was attempting to get down to the ground like this and was shot in the back after Ryan had already dropped the gun and put his hands up. Two months later, the body cam footage was finally released showing a man well within his rights to defend his home. Ryan was a law abiding citizen murdered by the police and as of yet, no arrests have been made. No warrants have been served. Law enforcement agents need to be held at the same standard as the rest of us are held to. <clears throat> Stories like this, like Ryan's happened too often. This was on the same night that Ryan was celebrating his daughter's graduation party and just a celebration turned to a tragedy. Just craziness. Um, and when the police officer ends up telling the girlfriend that it's okay when her boyfriend's laying there on the ground dead. It just seems like heartless, maybe? I don't know. Like, I couldn't see someone laying there and, like, not feel emotion for the person that's right there, especially after something like that where 
He didn't fire the firearm, didn't point it at anybody, and started dropping to the ground once they were yelling hands. Just another man lost his life, 40 years old. Um, you know, it just seems crazy that, you know, we always say we these police officers need to be held to a higher standard, right? They need to. Everybody should agree on that. Things like this shouldn't happen. And when it does, like things like this happen, they need to be held to a high standard. And that's why I'm not, I don't, I don't understand how people can like disagree with that and say like, when people say to fund the police and stuff, it's because they see people's lives being lost in situations like this, where it was just noise complaints. No, like, I don't know, just make it just pretty crazy to see something like this. Another person loses their life. Um, and people call it, say police are, the bad police are just bad apples and rotten, rotten apples. But uh, I tell you what, if I was to go, people say like they're bad, just bad, a couple bad police officers, a couple rotten apples. If I was to go into an airport today and someone said, well, there's 150 flights today, right? 150 different pilots, more like 300 or whatever, five, 150 different main pilots. They say, actually guys, we actually have a few new people here who are rotten apples. You know, they're rotten apples. They're bad people. You know, I, you know, we just got a couple of them though. And we, we don't, we just got to find them. What? It wouldn't make sense that way. So if I'm not hopping on the, in the airport, if I'm not going to go on those flights, I ain't going on this flight. So that's why, that's why things like this, police officers need to be held to a higher standard. And once they do, then everybody around them will start gaining more trust with them. But guys, I'm going to end this with showing you the, the seven or eight minute footage. Um, it's pretty graphic. But guys, I know I normally say if you enjoy this video, drop a like. Obviously, it's hard to enjoy this stuff, uh, especially when you're talking about someone losing their life, a father, uh, someone who was really caring, Ryan Whitaker, their family's been asking for, you know, justice in this and a noise complaint led to the fatal death. Seems crazy. If you guys can do me a favor, just click like and subscribe so this video gets shown to more people. So maybe we can bring some justice to Ryan and his family. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace. This is either it or I'm lost. In reference to that 240 on Bandier, and then subject to be a Hispanic male, 19 years old, medium height for 35 pounds. Building number would be nice. Do you like all that helpful info we got from our complainant? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Same on this side. Answer yes to all the questions. Get the officers out here faster. I, got, I don't have time for this. Yeah, great. Thanks. Phoenix Place! How you doing? Whoa! Put your hands! 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 Back away from the gun. Get back and get, get out here. Come out here. Come out. I'm not going to shoot you. Come out here. Come out here. Over here. Over here. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Just get down. Just get down. Relax. Come with me. Come with me. Hey, get back. Get back.
Go back inside. Go back inside. Go back inside. Go back inside. Is there anybody else in the house? There's no nobody else in the house. Right, the gun is right there on the floor. Just stay right here. No, you need to stay right there. There's nobody else in the house? There's nobody else in the house? Stick with me. Baby, you. Hey, 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 hey. Just relax. Stay right there. There's nobody else in the house. Okay, fine. Why did you okay. come and knock on the door? What's the problem? Neighbors called, said you guys were arguing and fighting. there was fighting over here. I knocked on the door. I yelled, Phoenix Police. There was no fighting. He opened the door with a gun. It's okay. It's okay. It's not. Four thirty-five Lincoln. Just so you know, we are code four. The subject is down, and we got the female party separated. Yeah. Okay. You need to just just come with me, okay? We just want to clear away from the scene. That's all. Okay. Come with me. You're fine. Okay. This is crazy because literally the other night he heard knocking on the door, and he. Like was looking through the people, and he mm-hmm. had his. He does have a gun on him. Yeah, he does. He came to the door with it. And I'm not saying that he did anything wrong, but he just. But did he pull it on you? But I he don't had it out, and when he and when he saw it was us, he it behind his leg, and he started walking at me. I drew out on him. I was on him, but I didn't shoot. My partner shot. So I mean, I, I you know. This is just like a flashback from the other night. He was said that anything going on inside? Because your because your neighbor called. Saying that he heard you guys going at it. I, Are you in fighting? Literally, we were making salsa and playing Crash Bandicoot, so there may have been some screaming some from screaming PlayStation, but games. it's no, like, okay. it wasn't domestic violence or anything. Okay. Well, and that's that's what, how the call came out. And that's why we knocked on your door. <sighs> the baby! with a gun. He came out of the apartment and walked towards us with a, with a gun in his hand. I don't know what he's going to do and what he and he was and he yelled some noise and yelled some words I whatever it was. I don't know what it was, but <clears throat> So she says, so the guy upstairs calls. So when he calls back, it, they hot it out. And while we're on the way, dispatcher says, just so you guys know, uh, we weren't able to get any further info from the complaint so he's come walking up to the, the I pull to the left of the door Jeff's on the right of the door stand there the door comes whipping open I'm like oh sh- held something and I saw a gun in his hand so I yelled gun throw out And the guy started going right down, so I was like, well, I don't have a fire. Yeah. <clears throat> Would have. I mean, he took two steps out of the door. I mean...